Nothing says Christmas like holiday baking, but of course with that comes overeating over the holidays as well. So we brought in Amber Romaniak, who is a holistic nutritionist, also uh, the owner of a magazine and cookbook. Uh, and you brought us some treats today, but you're also going to show us portion control yeah, over the holidays. Exactly. So Christmas is around the corner. The parties have already started. So let's look at, first of all, before mm -hmm. we get to the desserts and the sweets, when we're in the line for the, you know, our dinner, loading buffet, up our plates, yeah. or even starting with appetizers. So say we have a plate, you know, a mm -hmm. small plate. Yeah. I always say as a rule of thumb, let's fill it half with the vegetables. If there's fruit, um, if there's healthier dips like hummus, guacamole, salsa, maybe some nuts, mm -hmm. and then leave kind of a quarter for all those really indulgence type the things. Stuffing like the stuffing and the mashed potatoes. The cheese and all those really heavy yeah. things. And then, yeah, when we get to dinner, it's kind of the mm -hmm. same thing. I always say, okay, you're gonna either pick that you're gonna go all out and you're gonna load up and your plate's gonna be piled high or you're going to still, you know, fill your plate, but again, putting the vegetables. So there's always a variety of vegetables. Um, and if your family isn't a big veggie maker, maybe you wanna bring something that has a veggie dish like a salad or, you know, some sort of roasted vegetables. So I always say again about half the plate. So if you can use the salads and you know, there's usually peas and potatoes and carrots and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then I say a quarter of the plate protein. Mm -hmm. So, so turkey or turkey, the ham. ham, roast beef, whatever that is, or for people that are plant-based, maybe there's a quinoa salad or some sort of rice dish. Mm -hmm. And then again, a quarter, like you said, for the stuff yeah. the gravy, the pierogies, I'm Ukrainian, so there would always oh, be yeah. pierogies, and, and those things that are more of the indulgence, and then go to your table, eat that, and then if you're still feeling like you want a little bit more, you can go back. But um, start but with the aware. veggies, yeah. maybe first. Fill up on yeah. some of the veggies, high fiber, you're getting nutrients, mm -hmm. you're not going to feel a food hangover as big the next day, yeah. um, because... Where would you classify lot. mashed potatoes? Because I feel that is like on the, the line. Yeah, so they can spike the blood sugar more and if people are adding tons of butter um, and cream, then that's where we mm -hmm. can cross the line. I always tell people, um, do a coconut milk, mm -hmm. um, add some coconut oil, add maybe a bit less butter, and then you're getting a bit more um, health factor for your potatoes. Um, so maybe, yeah, we want to add that in on the quarter side. Don't fill it half, up half full with mashed potatoes and gravy. And then don't fill your plate <laughs> full of gravy. Like, I like to yeah, do and so then, everything's swimming yeah, in the gravy. Swimming in gravy. Yeah, you know, take some and maybe put it on the side and, and add it to things. It's the same with salad dressings mm -hmm. and those more high calorie um, items. We want to just have little bits so we can add it. Um, but that's looking at a plate. Mm -hmm. And then I always say as a rule of thumb before we go into the dessert, take some time to let your food digest mm -hmm. a little bit um, so that we're not mixing all the sugars with all the savory things we've just eaten. Um, and then, you know, like I said, take a smaller plate pick your favorite thing. Mm -hmm. If there's not something um, of a high health factor, um, you know, there's lots of sugars and, and different things like that. So pick your favorite, take one, go and sit down and have a conversation while you're mm -hmm. having it and just sit and enjoy it. So rather than taking a pile of dessert and yeah. going and sitting down. And then eating it all. Yeah, and if there's fruit again, take some fruit first. It'll take away some of that sweet craving factor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just again, so we're being mindful. And then, like I said, there's some people that just go all out and that's completely fine too. Um, I always just tell people, have a good idea of how you want your body to feel through the holidays mm -hmm. and then try and follow through with some of those actions of eating mindfully. And maybe lots of water at the same yes, time. Yes, lots of water. And of course, we're having spirits and things like that. So um, I've talked about it a bit before, but if you are having, you know, um, vodkas and rums and things like that, mm -hmm. add club sodas, um, lemon and lime, things like that to sweeten because all the sugar from the pops adds a whole nother hit to our calorie count. Yeah. So uh, we've gotten to dessert. So you brought us uh, some healthier treats here yeah. uh, that you have made. So let's start with these little guys, the gingerbread men or yeah, bears. Yeah, so the little bears. So have fun. Get cookie cutters. Um, these are gluten-free shortbread. They're also no refined sugar. So when I'm baking, mm -hmm. um, people often ask what kind of sweetener should I use? So for cookies or for anything you're using, a white granulated sugar coconut palm sugar is a really nice alternative and it measures the exact same amount so you can just switch the sweetener mm -hmm. and don't have to worry about trying to figure out a measurement um, flowers are the same so if you're using a whole wheat or a white flour and you want to try go gluten-free um, get a good all-purpose blend um, Bob Red Mills is a really good one um, so you can go and find that at most of our stores in the city now and it's again the same measurement so a lot of this is really easy to change over yeah. um, a couple other great alternative sweeteners instead of your white sugar or if you're using corn syrup raw honey is great um, real dark green maple syrup is great because you're still getting some nutrients mm -hmm. and it doesn't quite spike the blood sugar as much 
Um, just like anything, everything in moderation, I always say, because with sugars, even the natural ones, they still do interfere with our insulin levels. So we just want to be mindful yeah. if we can. And you've posted all of these, uh, some of these recipes. Yes, some, some are, are in on your the website, okay. yeah, and some are in the mm -hmm. cookbook as well. And your website again? Is www.amberproof.ca. Yeah. Yes. And so you can find some of those there. We're also going to give away a copy of your cookbook Yay. here. Uh, it's got some of the recipes in it, so you can make them yourself and mm -hmm. try something new over the holidays. Exactly, and it's fun, right? It makes it things lots exciting. Of and uh, they look just like normal cookies. Got peanut butter ones here mm -hmm. as well, and those pumpkin. ones are pumpkin. So they mm. smell good. I know. I can't <laughs> wait to eat some during the commercial break. Okay. okay. Well, thanks for stopping by today. Thanks for having me again. Uh, again, you can check her out on Twitter at Amber Approved uh, for more details, or check out her website. Thanks so much. We'll be back in just a little while with Juno winners uh, Sheik Amin bring their spin on the Christmas tunes. But first, here's what's happening in and around Calgary.